Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss past paper questions from March 2024, Paper 1, Variant 2. As always we do, we will discuss these questions in detail so you can improve your conceptual understanding of physics and also you can have better understanding of these exam questions. Let's study together, let's improve together. Question 11 says, some small solid cubes each have mass 1.0 kg and sides of length 5.0 centimeters. These small cubes are stacked together to form a large solid cube with sides of length 2.0 meters what is the weight of the large cube so in order to answer this question first of all we can simply sketch you can simply imagine we have this small cube so this small cube we have simply we can sketch here so this is small cube mass of this small cube m is equal to 1.0 kgs and the sides of this cube mean each side is 5.0 centimeters or simply we can say 5 times 10 to minus 2 meters and we can also imagine we have one large cube so this one is the large cube so we can also sketch this one so this is representing large cube so this one is the large cube and each side of this one so let's say this is l this is equal to 2.0 meters and we need to calculate what is the weight of this one what is the weight but in this case we need to understand they are made of the same material it means they have the same density same density so from here we can simply use the concept density is the same so we can say as they have the same density we can write on here same density it means the ratio between mass of one and the volume of one means the m1 over v1 this has to be equal to m2 over v2 so from here simply we can find out value of m2 means the mass of this cube so we are saying mass of this one is m2 mass of this one is m1 so from here we can write down m the mass of this cube we can say m1 over v1 times v2 this is equal to m2 so mass of small cube is 1 kgs and the volume of small cube is 5 times 10 to minus 2 and the cube of this one cube of this multiplied by the volume of large cube now from here we can find out the mass if we solve this one we will get the mass is equal to 64,000 kgs so this one is the mass so this is how quickly you can find out so this is the mass but we need to find out the weight so weight will be equal to m2 times g m2 is 64 thousands multiplied by 9.81 and if we simplify this one we will get 6.3 times 10 to 5 then we can write down this one in this form we can say 6.3 times 10 to minus 1 times 10 to 1 times 10 to 5 so we can write on here 0.63 mean if we combine these two together we can write on 0.63 here if we combine these two together we can write on 10 to 6 so simply we can say this is 0.63 mega newtons so this is the final answer so the answer for this question has to be C. Question 12 says a borehole of depth 2000 meters contains both oil and water as shown in the figure. The pressure due to the liquids at the bottom of the borehole is 17.5 megapascals. The density of the oil is 830 kgs per cubic meter and density of water is 1000 kgs per cubic meter. What is the depth x of the oil? Means we need to find out what is value of x. Now first of all we need to understand what is value of p at this point so we can say this value of p this is p total and value of this one is given to us that is 17.5 mega pascals now we need to understand pressure at this point is due to pressure of water and due to pressure of oil so simply we can say p total so we can say p total is equal to p due to water plus p of oil 
so we can simply write on here so we have value of p total that is 17.5 megapascals 10 to 6 and pressure due to water that will be equal to rho g h so this is density of water this is height of water plus we have density of oil g and this is height of oil so in this case we can write down hw mean this height we are talking about this height h w h w we can say this is equal to 2000 meters minus x now simply we can plug in values and we can find out value of x so density of water is given that is equal to 1000 and value of g is 9.81 and hw is 2000 minus x plus we have density of oil so this is density of oil multiply by 9.81 multiply by x so this is x we need to find out value of x so here we have 17.5 times 10 to 6 so we can simplify this one so we can simplify if we simplify this part we will get 1000 multiplied by 2000 multiplied by 9.81 and here we will get minus we will get 1000 multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by x and here we will have 830 times 9.81 times x so this is in terms of x and here we have 17.5 times 10 to 6 so we can say we have 17.5 times 10 to 6 minus this value we have 1000 multiply by 2000 multiply by 9.81 and from here and from here we can take common actually x is common so we can write down 830 times 9.81 minus we can say this is 1000 times 9.81 and the common this one is x i hope you can see from here as 1000 is greater so it means we will get negative here and also we will get negative here so negative negative will be cancelled so x from here you will get that will be equal to 17.5 times 10 to 6 minus we have 1000 multiplied by 2000 multiplied by 9.81 you can use bracket here and this whole is divided by 830 times 9.81 minus 1000 times 9.81 so if we solve we will get value of x and value of x in this case will be about 1270 meters so this is how you can answer nice question if your basic concept is clear if you have got this point means the p total is the sum of p due to water and p due to oil that is the main concept rest is just simplification i hope this question makes sense question 13 says a rod is pivoted at one end initially the angle theta of the rod to the horizontal is zero degrees the weight of the rod causes a moment capital m about the pivot the rod is then rotated in the vertical plane so that the angle theta of the rod increases from zero degrees to 180 degrees which graph shows the variation of m with theta it is given to us initial angle with horizontal is zero degrees so simply first of all we can draw this line and this line is representing our rod and the pivot is at one end we can also imagine center of mass is located at the center of this one and this is m g and this distance from center of mass to the pivot we can also assume this distance is d so this is the distance from 
center of mass because in this case moment is caused by the weight of the rod so this is distance from center of mass so what is moment in this case so moment will be equal to force time perpendicular distance between line of action of the force and the pivot so this is line of action of the force and this is pivot so this distance we have to take so this is initial moment now we increase the angle so we increase angle so this is how we increase angle now we can assume this angle is theta so this angle is theta so in this case which distance we have to take so you can see in this case the rod has center of mass for example it is at this point so it will go to this point here now so the center of mass will be somewhere here so we can say mg is acting here so we have to take this distance now this distance so what is this distance if this is this distance little bit messy if this distance is d so how about this perpendicular distance this one i hope you will say this is d cosine of theta so we can say m is equal to mg times d time cosine of theta so you can see here m g d they are constant so it means these three quantities they are constant so what will be the shape of the graph so it simply means that m is equal to some constant we can say k times cosine of theta it simply means that graph has to be cosine graph and initial value has to be maximum so this is maximum so when theta is 0 degrees cosine is maximum and when theta is 90 degrees means when the rod is at this point moment has to be 0 and when the rod we are rotating rod from here so as angle is increasing cosine of theta is decreasing finally when the rod is here cosine of 90 is 0 so moment has to be 0 so this is we see moment is equal to 0 here and then if we increase angle moment will go on increasing but its direction is opposite and finally here it will be maximum again but it will be negative so simply you need to understand the shape of the graph has to be cosine graph here and it has to start from maximum so this is the answer so simply you need to figure out this point so this is what you need to figure out if you have figured out this one quickly you can answer this question i hope this question makes sense if this question was clear to you and these videos are helping you please like and subscribe because your encouragement is very important more encouragement more videos see you next video